Willie D. Live. Well, I think I heard of him before. And so it, it I guess it would have been good and bad because the main lesson that I had to learn was that at some point, it doesn't matter even if the person is your father, what you do uh, in your life has to be about how you see the world and what you want to contribute and how you want to look at things. It can't be about uh, stepping up or filling in or making somebody else's dream come true. It wasn't, you know, started making really good money. It, it, there's always, every single monetary situation I've been to, I thought things were going to be great once I make this amount of money. And then sometimes I look back at the numbers and the numbers were so small, it seems crazy back then. Man, if I could get to $2,000 a week, then it's like if I can get to 5000 if I can get to seven, if I can get to this amount of money a year, if I can get to this amount of money a year, and you find yourself wanting no matter what that is. No matter what it is, you find yourself wanting. Mm -hmm. Unless you get to a point and you understand how to become happy with your life and how to find small things or even large things in your life that complete and complement you and the people around you. The most important thing to me is being useful to the people in my life. Um, and so that ain't got nothing to do with him. But as far as me and his relationship, it was like we was in a room one time, me and my homeboys in there, and it's a wasp in the room, and we being 13, 14-year-old kids, Oh shit, the wasp gonna sting you. The wasp gonna do all of that. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Hey, shit, he coming for you, dog. Bah, bah, boom, 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 all of that. My daddy walk in, sweating, hat on, gun on the side. He said, what y'all doing? All this goddamn jumping around. And uh, my boy Ryan go, it's a wasp in here, Mr. Terry. And he go, oh. And just grabbed it with his hand. And everybody else in the room is like, this nigga different. <laughs> Later on, um, I'm, we out there and we getting the fucking beagles out of the pen and uh, got a big ass welt on his head. It's not that he wasn't human. Sometimes the fucking, you got to kill the wasp. And he was just different. So he's, you know, and it wasn't just to me, like, kill a deer, put the deer over his shoulder. He walking with the deer, blood coming down everywhere. He walked past one of your homeboy's fathers who's standing there talking. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? He got the deer on his back and he like, hey boy, come out here and help me feel dress this. And my homeboy's like, what are you, you guys are about to gut the deer? And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna put him out there in the back and skin him up and, and, and do him up. He's like, can I watch? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we're about to do it right now. So he was just different. He was impressive, man. What did they call your dad in the neighborhood? Uh, VT, uh, Mr. Terry, or the Dickies man. Because he always wore, a, a, when he was in uh, his full shit, it was always a full Dickie suit with the, with the hat and the boots. Yeah. And so, um, but most people called him Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry. Yeah, Mr. Terry. Mr. Terry, uh, you raised a fine young man. I appreciate that, bro. Absolutely, man. man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. No problem. Hey, I got to say one thing before I go. Yeah. I'm fucking ecstatic that this has worked out as well as it has. Yeah. You, you found your voice. Everybody is re re respects you, and you run a fucking fantastic podcast, and I know you know that it's not easy for people to transition and do the whole thing. Yeah. But it's dope. It's dope to to listen and watch a legend whenever you put your podcast out and stuff like that. I watch all of them. I especially like the one with the crazy motherfucker that made the George Floyd joke. Yeah. And um, But I, 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 I really enjoy listening to your perspective, man. It was good to talk to you, brother. Thank you, man. All right, now. The honor was mine, man. All right. The honor was mine. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Dan Lathan. <laughs> no more talk.